They don't want that free blue. Yo, what up? This is Free Blues Boxing. Hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell for unlimited boxing content. We bike. Boxing world, here we go. The young lion and rising star Shakur Stevenson returns back in the ring this Saturday, December 12th in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. One of the most elite fighters on the planet. One of the most feared fighters as well. Held the WBO featherweight title uh, before moving up to super featherweight. Yeah, 130 pounds. He's looking to make a statement against this guy, Toka Khan Clary. You know, another top-ranked veteran. Don't get me wrong, he looks tough as nails. Uh, he looks like a strong fighter. Uh, I'm expecting Shakur Stevenson to go in there and handle business and keep climbing up the rankings. Shakur Stevenson, only 23 years old. It doesn't matter who he fights. He is the best on the planet, like I said. He's a silver medalist winner in the 2016 Olympic Games. Bob Arum and Tom Brake have done a phenomenal job at breeding, uh, you know, these world-class athletes and, and, and champions at just, you know, nine fights, 10 fights, 12 fights. I mean, Shakur has gone into his 15th bout like I said, he is a former featherweight champion at, at 126, and he looks he looks as good as anybody on the other platforms as well. I'm talking about those lightweights across the street, the Ryan Garcias, the Devin Haney's, the Tank Davises, the the Teofimo Lopez's, Shakur Stevenson. It's not only the most underrated on the top rank uh, platform, but He's ready for the for these other guys across the street. And Shakur explains that he's very comfortable going to the bubble this time around for this fight in Las Vegas. This is his second time fighting in the bubble. He said that it doesn't matter that he only had a five weeks notice uh, when he got the call. He said it was good. Uh, and he said for his previous fight before that, I mean, I felt like it was just about a month or two ago. By the way, he looked phenomenal. Ended up stopping that guy with a body shot. Uh, but like I said, uh, you know, this bubble thing, is it's, it doesn't mean anything for Shakur. He compares it to the Olympics. He says, no family, not too many people, and you just focus on boxing. So, you know, I, I expect him to put on a, a world-class performance and, you know, really make a statement at the super uh, featherweight division. No, in boxing, there's only... A select, uh, a very, there's only very few fighters who have really good skills uh, and, and just the highest ring IQ. Shakur Stevenson is one of them. Devin Haney is one of them. Uh, I would say Caleb Plant is one of them. Canelo, you know, real pound for pound guys. Terrence Crawford, I can't forget. These type of guys are literally Lomachenko. Lomachenko until his code was cracked against Teofimo Lopez in that, uh, that unified bout at the lightweight division. Uh, but all of these guys are boxing computers and <laughs> pretty much they look fake inside the ring. They can't get touched. The, the footwork is impeccable. Uh, the way they, the way they set up punches, the way that, you know, they set up their traps. They look unstoppable and understand the sweet science of boxing. Some might wonder why Shakur Stevenson is so good when he's only had, this will be his 15th fight in the Olympics. In 2016, Shakur Stevenson has seen and fought every style that you could think of. He is a southpaw, and this guy Clary is his first. This is Shakur Stevenson's first first southpaw fight professionally. But like I said, it doesn't matter. Young fighters like Shakur Stevenson, who literally grew up, eat, use the bathroom, and sleep boxing. I mean, this guy Shakur has sparred Tank Lomachenko. He spars Crawford, who is also uh, Shakur's mentor, by the way, and he sparred Devin Haney. So when you add all that in, in, into account, and if you watch Shakur Stevenson fights and see why he's so good and see why he's up there smiling and uh, just just looking like the best in the world, it's because he he put all that work in sparring, and you know he's he's just there's a, there's a, there's a class fighters and there's b class fighters Shakur is definitely a class Crawford arguably the number one pound for pound uh in the world today 
but all those fighters that name are champions. Lomachenko was a champion. Devin Annie, who's currently the WBC champion at lightweight. Tank, who's champion at lightweight and super featherweight. When you get those type of looks in sparring, uh, it doesn't matter who you fight. Uh, that's why eventually these top guys have to step in the ring and get it on. Because there's no competition, the fight have to fight the best. I've been keeping on with with Shakur for a few years now, uh, but what really opened my eyes was his world title fight at featherweight, uh, where he fought Joe Gonzalez. If you don't know too much about Shakur Stevenson, and you're curious what kind of fighter he is, before you watch this this upcoming fight on on Saturday, watch when he fought Joe Gonzalez. That really opened my eyes, and and that was for the title. That really opened my eyes on just how skills wise, just how set apart Shakura is, uh, you know, compared to the other athletes. I mean, his whole arsenal, it's just, he just has a different bag. He has a different package compared to all the other boxers. He looked like a real boxing machine. Uh, he didn't get touched. He won every round. He could have stopped the guy. And I'm not trying to be messy right now, but the only reason why he didn't stop Joy Gonzalez was because he was dating his sister at the time. And at the end of the fight, after dominating him, he said, he said, you know, I, th you know, this is business. Boxing is business. I honestly didn't want to take this fight. And my message for the Gonzalez family is go talk to your go talk to your daughter. Go talk to your sister. Joy Gonzalez is the of Shakur Stevenson's girlfriend. So <laughs> that's what built up the fight. And Shakur didn't even want that to be built up like that. But anyways, that's a different conversation. Shakur Stevenson dominated him on a high level. He didn't get touched. Uh, every time Joel Gonzalez was trying to throw a punch, Shakur would move back two or three times. Uh, he was slipping. He was countering. His Shakur Stevens ha has one of the great straight lefts to the body. You can compare it to Errol Spence Jr., uh, he has great body work. Like I said, he he has the he has the full package at the young age of 23. Shakur Stevenson made a great point in a recent interview. He said that these guys can get in the ring, or it doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what the media says about the fighters he goes against. Uh, and these are all professional fighters. These are great fighters, and by the time they get in there with Shakur, they uh, they look like amateurs. Shakur made that made that good point, and he's right. Uh, for instance, Joy Gonzalez went against um, Mariaga, and he beat up Mariaga just as bad as Lomachenko did. So that was a great point. And that's how you know when you're great, when the media and other fighters are basically saying, stop fighting cab drivers, stop fighting lift drivers, school teachers, plumbers, <laughs> PE teachers. It just doesn't matter. By the way, when Joy, when Joy Gonzalez, when that guy had went pro, Shakur Stevenson was just a freshman in high school. So uh, so his experience didn't mean anything when it came to the fight. Another thing that I noticed when he fought that dude, Joy Gonzalez, uh, in the fight, uh, Shakur is just so smart in the ring. It's a, it's a high boxing IQ. When he's against the ropes and, you know, he's taking a breather, he's taking a break. Uh, it, when Joy Gonzalez was letting off shots, you know, throwing punches in bunches. Shakur knows how to smother his opponent and get low and and hold and hold. Like, if, you know what I mean, don't get beat up. Like, you could grab in boxing. That's a part of boxing. I feel like that's where everybody gets the sport misconstrued because they want an exciting fight. Uh, Shakur knows how to hold, uh, what, you know, in those, those certain scenarios. That guy, Joel Gonzalez, he averages, like, a 45% uh, – landing in, in most of his fights. When he fought Shakur Stevenson, he was only 10%. Shakur knows how to capitalize and expose any of these guys' flaws. That's why he's going to be a huge problem, not only at the super featherweight, but when he moves up to lightweight and light welterweight as well. So yeah, like I said, and then if we want to talk about outside of the ring, uh, like I said earlier, he has Terrence Crawford, the pound-for-pound -pound king. As one of his mentors, he goes... Uh, to pretty much all of Shakur Stevenson's fights. And Andre Ward, Shakur Stevenson's co-manager, who was one of the pound-for-pound -pound greats at the super middleweight division. So when you take all of that into account, 
and combine it with his in the ring boxing skills, you know, that's that's the that's the mentality. So you get the mentality right now, even at 23, 24, uh, when you see how dominant he is, now you can start matching him up with Tank Davis, who who also has a great mentorship and good in the ring skills uh, under Floyd Mayweather. So, you know I me, mean? I'm just trying to see all the mega fights. Shakur recently said in the interview that he wants this guy, Burchelt, believes he's the top dog. He's the current rivalry. Uh, he says as far as the long-term rivalry, that's going to have to be Tank Davis. So I'm excited to see that. Shakur, it's looking like he wants to clean out uh, these top-ranked guys at 130. That sounds cool. You know, that could help. help really build up his resume. But, you know, if we would just want to keep him on the top rank side, fine. I want Shakur Stevenson to move up and fight Teofimo Lopez at the lightweight division and unify those belts before T.O. wants to move up to 140 and start messing with those start messing with those guys, Josh Taylor and Ramirez, those bigger guys. And no, I don't care that Shakur fought at bantamweight and amateur and then fought at featherweight and then now super featherweight. He's just as big at these, as these bigger guys, T.O. Fimo, Devin Haney, Tank Davis, Josh Taylor. He could easily move up and these could be huge fights. One of the reporters had asked Shakur, uh, you know, basically in the month of November, it's just been every weekend back-to-back-to-back fights uh, with Terrence, with Tank Davis, with Teofimo Lopez. And Shakur was like, you know, to the casual to the casual boxing fans, uh, those look like great fights, you know, that's uh, uh, basically appealing to the eye. But he was like to him, Devin Haney's, for, I forgot to mention as well, but he was like to him, uh, he wasn't really impressed with most of those fights. The only fights he was in- impressed with was Teofimo Lopez's win against Lomachenko and then obviously his mentor Terrence. One thing I can appreciate about Shakur is his honesty compared to a lot of these boxers. You know, they just kind of be faking uh, when it comes to some of these questions. One of the reporters was like, Crawford has said that, you know, you, you're, you're better than uh, a tank. He told us to Shakur. He said, you're better than a Tank, a Tiafima Lopez, a Devin Haney. Uh, but he was like, the difference with Devin Haney, if you were to fight him, that would actually be a test match. Shakur was like, yeah, I, I, I see what he's saying. If I were to fight a big puncher like Tiafima Lopez or Tank Davis, those guys don't, those type of guys, that type of style doesn't do well with my style. Uh, uh, I usually outclass those type of guys. But a chess match with Devin Haney, he's not a big puncher, um, that would be a more stylistically a better match. Shakur says, I don't, I don't care who it is. I'm beating whoever. So look, you can mark my words. Shakur (laughs) will be the top dog at top rank. Uh, Terrence Crawford, the pound for pound king is going to pass down. He's going to pass down, uh, you know, the baton, the crown, however you want to say it, uh, the torch. Shakur Stevenson, will be the man on top rank and the other guys across the street with Al Heyman, uh, DeZone, Devin Haney will have to get in the ring uh, with this rising star and it's only a matter of time but like I said, you can mark my words with this one. Shakur Stevenson versus Clary, Saturday, December 12th at the MGM Grand at the Bubba in Las Vegas. You can catch on ESPN Plus. Put in the comments who you think is going to win and who you want Shakur to fight next. They don't want that free blues! Yo, what up? This is Free Blues Boxing. Hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell for unlimited boxing content. Until next time, peace.